Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today in this video, I'm gonna show, how to fix Mac OS updates not showing in system settings, your Mac is up to date. So before starting, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, then please go and subscribe to our channel and stay connected for the latest updates. So without a further ado, let's get started. If you have Mac OS installed and no update is available under system preferences, when Apple releases or push an update for the OS. Unlike other operating systems, macOS also offers OTA updates which aims to fix bugs and improve security. The macOS updates can be checked using System Preferences, General, then Software Update. Despite checking several times, the only message you get is your Mac is up to date. However, if you're not getting the OTA updates, there could be a few reasons for it. One of them could be likely possible that you're using an unsupported SM BIOS for which Apple does not allow any update further. As you can see, the current machine has iMac Pro 1.1 SM BIOS configured and the updates are supported till Mac OS Sequoia. However, when checking the updates, no updates are shown. As it's Mac OS Sequoia, the system also has Apple ID signed in for the beta updates. But still the updates does not appear in the system preferences. To fix this issue, download restrictive events text, from the link provided under the video description, and then mount your ESP. If you're using open core, put restrict events.kex to EFI, OC, KEX directory. After putting the KEX, open your config.plist and add the restrict events KEX entry for the same in the kernel tab of your config plist. Now, go to the NVRAM tab, and select the last UUID, and then add the following boot arcs. After making the changes, exit OC it while saving the config, and restart your system for the applied changes to take effect. It is recommended to reset NVRAM once at least. After restarting the system, check for updates using System Preferences, General, then Software Update and an update should pop up, if available. And as you can see, the update is now available. Click on Update now and accept the license terms and the update should begin to download. So that was it, hope it was useful. Consider like for the video and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions, just comment down below, or create a thread on our forum. Make sure to check out the forum for in-depth guides. Thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.